Um, it is now the next day. Look at, oh my god, it's, I'm so scared. It's so flat. I said that. It was gonna burn. And you burnt it. Work called me in last minute and they sounded really desperate. I think someone called in sick or something, so I was like, okay, I'll come in. What I'm gonna do is put in my workout that I do tomorrow. I'm heading off to the gym now, but I'm gonna make a smoothie first. Um, by the way, this is the soy milk that I use. It's just Vita Soy, the Protein Plus version. <laughs> guys fuck my life I got a parking fine oh <laughs> my life is oh why am I so oh I'm ah! okay so last night I went to work and I work in the city so it's so hard to find parking and there was no parking so I risked it and I parked in the taxi zone and I got a parking fine this is my third one in one month I still have I still have this one to pay for as well. I'm gonna go get it. <sighs> the fine costs more than the whole, than like what I earned for that whole shift. Whatever, life goes on. I'll see you guys inside. Hello, it's me back on my shit doing a five minute warm up on the stairs. And it would be really great if I could get the angles right, but what's done is done. After my five minute warm up, I also did some dynamic stretching. Um, I just didn't record it because I Okay, my first exercise is the dumbbell chest press. I did three ramp up sets. Um, so basically what this is, is increasing the load while also decreasing the reps. So I didn't show this, but I did one set with uh, five kilo dumbbells, eight reps, one set with 10 kilo dumbbells, six reps, and then one set with 12.5 kilos with five reps. And the reason why I do this is because you just set yourself up for success. Like you're basically practicing the foundation of the exercise, getting your joints, getting your muscles used to the movement, which will then help your performance and then decrease your chance of injury. That being said, make sure you don't overdo it because then you can end up like pre-fatiguing your muscles before you actually start your first working set. Usually the earlier an exercise is in my structure for the day, the more ramp up sets I will need. And then I also usually just do them for my compound exercises. So I did three sets of 12 with my working weight on the dumbbell chest presses. Next, I did these one arm seated chest presses. Um, make sure you adjust the seat so that the handles are level with the middle of your chest. So like basically where your nipples are. <laughs> your feet should be positioned firmly on the ground for stabilization. And I don't know why I always touch my chest when I do this exercise, but it just, I think it helps me a little with mind muscle connection. Also make sure your shoulder blades don't round forward. Like they should always be against the backrest. Um, press your elbows until they are fully extended, but don't lock them out. And yeah.
Next is seated chest flies. Again, adjust so that the handles are at the middle of your chest. Push the handles slowly together as you squeeze the middle of your chest. And then when you return back to your starting position, your chest muscles should be fully stretched before doing another rep. Moving on to triceps, I did three sets of 15 on the dip machine. Make sure to keep your elbows at your side, point them more behind you rather than away from you. And this will just really keep the emphasis on your triceps. Lastly, I'm doing a superset. I did 12 reps of skull crushes. For the starting position on these, I like to keep my arms a little bit more diagonal rather than fully straight. Um, I know that you're meant to like keep your arms like perpendicular to the ground, but I like to keep my arms more diagonal. That way, when I move the bar down, it can go a little further below my head rather than actually hitting it if I were to go down any further and then I can get a longer range of motion. That's just me. You can keep your arms fully perpendicular if you want but I just like the stretch doing it this way better. Then after very little rest, I did 12 reps of seated tricep presses. Hold the dumbbell by the end of the dumbbell rather than the actual bar of the dumbbell. Um, I remember like years ago I was doing these and I was holding it by the bar of the dumbbell and this girl comes up to me and she's like, oh, it just works so much better when you hold it by the end of the dumbbell. So I tried it out and it was it changed my life. It's amazing. So shout out to that girl for teaching me that. Um, also, your upper arms should remain close to your head. Remain stationary the whole time. Do not move them. Only your forearms should move. Repeat the superset three times and that is the whole workout. So that is the end of my workout. I just want to end on this note that girls, please don't be scared of training chest. Um, there's nothing that boys can do that we can't do. The amount of times that I've been told by guys and girls too um, that I shouldn't train chest um, because it'll make like my boobs smaller or something like my boobs are already small from losing weight. Training chest won't make your boobs smaller. Losing fat is what's gonna make your boobs smaller. So um, train chest, it's all, it's um, important to like be nicely proportioned. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is don't be afraid to train chest. Um, don't just do legs all the time. Train chest, um, train triceps, train abs, train everything. Um, it's just important to be in proportion. Um, you don't want to be like super strong in your legs and then not be able to like lift a fucking, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> um, thank you for watching this fucking weird ass vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and found some entertainment out of how much bad luck I get on a daily basis. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, bye.